Go. Hi everyone. Um, every year I give myself a <laughs> one. This uh, is a mousetrap powered vehicle. Every year I have uh, my students build one of these. They enjoy it. They have a lot of fun with it. I don't know where this idea came from, where the project came from. Um, but the idea is to take one mousetrap and make a vehicle. The mousetrap is the only power for the vehicle. And make this vehicle go as long as you can make it go. Okay? Now, what I'm going to show first is what I, my, the printout that I give my kids. You can pause on that and read it if you want. Then I'm going to show you several pictures of some, uh, of, some of these vehicles. And um, then I'm going to show you some of them in action. And then I'm actually going to show you how to build one. Okay? So, talk to you later. Use pencils. Man, that's very basic. Very basic. What is this right here? A uh, bottle. A tab, bottle, tab. Okay, yeah. This thing would go a long ways. I mean, they'll. Very nice. I love it. It's been good. For as heavy as it is, it's really. Oh, man, look at that go. Okay, I got my uh, mousetrap powered vehicle kit uh, in the mail today. Um, I always show my students listen, if you can come up with your own design, I prefer that. If you're not all that mechanically minded, you can buy these kits. And uh, they're not terribly expensive. This one was $10 plus $10 for shipping. So if you're not, oh, you know, very mechanically minded, this might be a better way for you to go. You, you'll still learn a lot. Um, so I'm going to take this particular kit apart. And I, and I, I basically want to do this kit to show you the basics, what's involved with uh, um, how they work and how, how to put them together. All right. So this kit came from Doc Physics. They have they have really good cheap uh, well inexpensive they're not cheap they're inexpensive models and uh, they have very good directions to follow along with. These are all of the parts that comes with the mouse trap. Um, it has the four wheels. Now if you're making your own um, th these are basically just a, a an old CD, uh, DVD, CD, something like that. Oh. These are the thing I'm going to do today is this right here. Don't worry about putting this arm stuff on. I I want to take this piece and glue it here, and this piece and glue it here. Um, I'm going to do that and let it sit overnight, and then I'll come back and uh, show you how to uh, put the rest of it together. So it's very clear, very simple, and uh, I'll be back with you tomorrow. Okay, go. So I'm going to cut this right here, and then this part over here, we don't need. It. Now you've got this particular one came with three different arms or two, uh, three different pieces of copper. Here you go. Okay, so this you got. You remember this? This is what I pulled off from here. Um, and said you're not going to need that, but I'm going to cut this right here. And we're flying across the room and insert it into here. And it doesn't. It doesn't have to be real tight. I want it a little bit tighter than that, so I'm going to go ahead and crimp it a little bit, make it a little bit harder. You just kind of go like that and that that stiffens it up quite a bit and this is what you're going to tie your string to now let's put the axles together um, I'm going to start like this I'm going to put um, one of these rubber grommets here and then a washer and then I'm going to put it through here 
and then another washer and another grommet and I like to put the taper out that way it makes it a little bit easier to get the wheels on but I'm going to go ahead and put the other axle on first and there's going to be a little play back and forth now where's my other washers Jacqueline you see them? Oh, underneath, right there, underneath the... Um... Oh, they're underneath the wheel. Okay, there's one. Where's the other? Underneath the other wheel. Underneath the other in wheel. In front of you. In front of me. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. I don't see it. Oh, you're talking about the black thing? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, in your pocket? Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I, I remember. Good, good thinking. Um, the re there's a reason that was in my pocket. I won't go into that right now. <laughs> and uh, Okay, so rubber and then this put it through here through the washer and like again I'm not sure what the directions say to put the taper in or out I like it out because it makes it easier to get the wheels on so that's where we're at right now okay now I'm going to put the wheels on they're very delicate so be careful If you're making your own without using a kit, you'll be using probably CDs or DVDs. I had one student last year make one um, using the old uh, records, 33 RPM records, and they, it really went a long ways. Okay, so there's the car. Notice how easily it rolls? Okay, but what propels it? It comes with a Ziploc tie, and what you have to do, if I go like that, it's going to be, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this with it, underneath. This is the, notice it's on the axle at the opposite end of the trap. Okay, I'm going to push this through here. Oops, try it again. and make sure it's as centered as you can get it. Okay, so I've got it right about there. And then I'm gonna pull this tight. Okay, I've got it pulled really tight. And I have to get in here and cut this off. Just leave a little bit sticking out. Okay, this is what we're going to hook our loop on. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to put this under here, and I want to put a little bit of glue on that, just, just to help it hold on there, otherwise it will spin, okay? So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the Ziploc part, and then also where it hits the axle. This is... I'm using a uh, Gorilla Super Glue. Seems to work pretty good for this kind of thing. Again, don't get it on your furniture or the carpet. Your mom will be, well, that'll be the end of your science career. All right, so we're gonna just uh, walk away from this a little bit, let the glue come to a drying point, and then I'll come, in, come back and show you how to uh, finish it and maybe give it a test run, okay? So we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and start. Action. All right, so we only have one last thing to do before we test our mousetrap powered vehicle. Now the funny thing is they say in the instructions that this thread they sent is Kevlar. That's the same stuff they make bulletproof vests out of. I didn't know why they have to use such a tough piece of material, but we're going to use what we got. Now I'm going, the first thing I'm going to do is make a loop down. This stuff is so fine it's it's actually hard <laughs> for your big actually, hands. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm gonna tie it like this. I'm gonna tie it's a Boy Scout. And I'm gonna make a couple half hitches and uh, 
So we tie this on here. We could probably cut that at some point. And splice back together. So. All right, so I have a knot here. I'm going to cut off the excess. Stuff's tough. It is. Okay, now this we need to make a loop, and this string needs to be just basically this long. Just long enough to reach this little thing right here that we glued on earlier. So that's where I want the loop, the end of the loop to be. So I'm going to go like this. I think I can do this. Put this through here. Come on, Boy Scout. I'm trying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't a good Boy Scout. <laughs> Never an Eagle Scout? Nope. Star. Okay, so I have a loop here. And now I'm going to cut off the excess. Now, this is what makes this thing go. I'm going to... This is that little zip tie thing I had earlier. I'm going to hook this loop over that. And I'm going to spin it this way as I'm lifting up on the arm. And it will wind this string onto the arm. So I don't get it too tangled up. Okay? So just keep going. Wind the string onto the arm. Okay? We're getting there. I'm not doing a real good job with this, but... Okay, so now we're ready to give it a try. Yeah. All right, I've been working hard on my car. I'm getting ready to let her go. Uh, hope you like it. I'm ready whenever you are. Ah! Okay, um, I'm not sure it was real clear in the video um earlier so i want to show you what happens now i cut this loop off here got rid of some other stuff here and now this this with the string i'm going to slip it on here like this okay okay so there it is the mousetrap powered vehicle and um you remember a little while ago in the video i i was missing one of these little black washers it was in my pocket and i said we'll talk about that later well Here's what happened. I took one of those to the hardware store with me and bought a pack of these. They're called uh, bib washers. Take your, take your mom or your dad or your brother, whoever knows anything about these things, to a hardware store and you can pick up some extra bib washers. Why did I do that? Because I've had students do that. And if you can see right here, you can put those on there and it keeps the axle from going back and forth so much. You don't have to do it, it works fine without it. I just like it with it. Okay? So I hope you have fun with your project. Again, you can look up Google search uh, mousetrap powered vehicles. You're going to find tons of resources. Have fun. Remember, as always, God is good.